Aloha. EV Nautilus has been home to an exciting new research project, Malama Ma No. Led by National Geographic explorer Ariana Santos Agustinas, a team of seven researchers, educators, and storytellers from around the world, together with the Ocean Exploration Trust and National Geographic Society, have spent the last three weeks studying the diversity and abundance of sharks around the Hawaiian Islands but I have a really great team out with me every day, deploying broads every single day, retrieving them every single day. Our maximum record was eight deployments and retrievals in a day. It's quite tough and it takes its toll on you, even if it's like every day doing, going out in the field, staying out for five to six hours, the retrievals, the data collection, it's very rewarding and I love it. The team combines multiple data collection methods, including reef surveys, BRUV deployments, and environmental DNA analysis. BRUVs, or baited remote underwater video systems, are made up of a pressure-rated camera, frame, and bait arm to hold just enough fish scraps to attract a shark to swim in front of the camera view. Deployed in waters from 15 meters to 90 meters, these recordings gather all kinds of identification data about sharks and other animals' presence and diversity on the reefs. The project has been gifted with some incredible encounters. At the Planetary Health Informatics Lab here in Oxford, I'm leading another part of the project by developing an artificial intelligence tool to identify sharks in rough footage without any human input. The AI tool is trained using one of the largest repositories of shark images, which has been curated by the Shark Health Research Team, working together with citizen scientists from around the world. As well as being an exemplar of technology for good, this is also a beautiful example, I think, of truly collaborative open science in action. Check out these exciting early results. This brev recorded a female gray reef shark checking out the bait canister and curiously making several passes through the camera view. When fed through the shark pulse artificial intelligence, the computer successfully identified the shark while in view and could ID the shark species with an accuracy rate of 87%. With the goal to study sharks in the most respectful and least invasive ways possible, another research component was to collect water samples for environmental DNA analysis. As sharks move around their environment, they slough off scales and cells containing ideable DNA. The team spent hours in Nautilus's wet lab filtering water samples and preserving them for analysis at the University of Hawaii, where they'll be sequenced and matched to libraries of known shark DNA. Analyzing for species that were nearby but didn't enter the BRUV footage will help reveal more about the biodiversity of these healthy ecosystems. In Hawaii, we have, you know, deep ancestral understanding of our relationship to the natural world. And so many families have relationships with, with the elements and, and with the species. And for our family, it's the shark. And so to be able to be with Ariana and her team and watch them and their regard and sensitivity for how they're doing their research. I am excited because what this means again is that we can bridge our understandings and end up with a much richer uh, result. I, I really understand that our ecosystem is so out of balance that part of what we're seeing in their behavior is a function of their food supply and that I've known, but it just amplifies this narrative of how we have to take care of our oceans and why. Along the way, the team has also created educational resources for classrooms and citizen scientists in Hawaii, engaging the next generation of shark lovers. Malama Mano builds upon centuries of ancestral knowledge and indigenous science about Mano, or sharks, in Hawaii. We have so many cool layers of technology, but everything is on a foundation of ancestral practice and understanding. So we're super curious and super invested in understanding what do the native Hawaiians know after a thousand years of living in these islands, caring for this ocean and having deep relationships with sharks and all of the marine life and all of the ocean. 
what have they learned? What have they discovered? What are their stories? What's their science? And then building layers of technology on top of that to support an even deeper understanding and a deeper ability to take care. The goal is that this new data will help support an understanding of how recent legislation and management are protecting sharks across their various populations. But perhaps more importantly, the team is sharing these methodologies and data with local Hawaiian communities to augment their substantial knowledge and build deeper connection with species, to ensuring these animals receive appropriate production into the future. National Geographic Society is funding this explorer-led research project and four others aboard EV Nautilus to improve our understanding of Hawaii's unique ecosystems, inform conservation efforts, and inspire the next generation of explorers and planetary stewards.